And moving on, the need to bridge the gap for a bankable retirement saving solution for small and medium enterprises or SMEs segment of the society has led to many institutions coming up with various products tailor-made for the segment of the market. Most of them are considered friendly. Insurance underwriter CFC Life is the latest to show the interest in this segment. The underwriter has unveiled into the market Boresha Maisha Umbrella Retirement Plan targeted at SMEs and NGOs or non-governmental organizations. The following report has details of that story. As Kenyans continue to embrace a saving culture in preparation for retirement life, financial institutions have also upped efforts to unveil dynamic products for the various market segments. Statistics show that employees in the small and micro enterprise sector, which contributes 85% of the salary jobs in Kenya, do not have retirement benefit schemes. The very reason why CFS Life sought to introduce. We are in an era when we are seeing rapid urbanization. I mean, uh, it is now reckoned that about 20% of uh, Kenyans are, li are living in urban areas. I figure that could go to 30% by the year 2020. So as we urbanize and the, then the traditional social structures are breaking down, it is therefore critical that uh, one prepares for retirement. And that is why we have come up with this product which we believe is suitable for the SME sector where majority of the people work so that they can come into, the, in, 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 into this you know, umbrella fund and be able to prepare for their retirement. Under the plan, the employer is required to make up a certain monthly contribution at a minimum of 6% of the salary, which is matched by the employee's contribution. According to the underwriter, the catch here is the employee decides on how the funds will be invested. This product actually allows the participants to choose their investment vehicle. Okay, So, if you don't want the guaranteed fund, which is what most uh, other players offer in the market. And we also that have that option, by the way. This also offers you the opportunity to choose the investment where you want your money to go. So if you should want your money to go into shares, you mentioned, you, not, you, you, you tell us that. If you want your money to go into uh, fixed income securities, you also tell us that. He says the crafting of the plan was motivated by, among other factors, the need to assure post-work financial security. Actually, the contribution is entirely up to the participant. Okay, It is very flexible. The only thing I should mention is that 20000 is tax allowable. In other words, every month you could contribute 20000 and that amount will not be taxable. So there is deferred taxation. And so when you save before taxation, and because of the power of compounding interest, you are able to save a lot more. All said and done, it is no doubt that Kenya's retirement benefit schemes have recorded impressive growth over time, despite the minimal penetration or acceptance by the general public.